raise hand or chat function to be recognized. Public hearing rules are as follows. Persons both favoring and opposing the proposed case will be provided an opportunity to address the commission. The applicant for the zoning case or the applicant's designated representative, if any, will be entitled to speak first, followed by other speakers in favor of the proposal for a total of 15 minutes. Those who oppose the proposed zoning case will be permitted to speak for a total of 15 minutes. By majority vote, the commission may increase the total time of speakers provided that each side is given the same amount of time. If there is more than one speaker for a side, the chair, the presiding, or the presiding officer may limit the time allotted to each individual speaker other than the zoning applicant. The zoning applicant may reserve a portion of his or her allotted time for rebuttal. Speakers must adhere to the rules of the quorum. Prior to speaking, each speaker shall identify him or herself, state his or her current address, and shall redress remarks only to the commission and shall refrain from making personal attacks on any other speaker. The presiding officer may refuse the speaker the right to continue if after first being cautioned, the speaker continues to violate the rules of the quorum. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard our rules for public hearing. Commissioners, at this time, I entertain a motion to open the public hearing for case number 2021 via Victor-003-03. Mr. Chair. Yes, Commissioner Miller. Motion to open the public hearing. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Miller, seconded by Commissioner McKnight that we open the public hearing for case number 2021 via in Victor-002-03. All in favor sound aye. 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 All opposed sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. The public hearing is now open. Is Ms. Schachter present? Okay, you may unmute yourself, okay? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Ms. Schachter, would you please state your first and last name and your current address? I am Christy Schachter, residing at 7904 Swan Park Drive in Denton, Texas, 76210. Okay, thank you. And um, you may go ahead and present your case. Um, I am representing Olive Garden and we are proposing to demolish the existing building to put up a new Olive Garden, which has a larger footprint of the existing building. Um, Olive Garden typically provides plus or minus 140 parking spaces for their guests. And we are proposing 105. So in order to keep that um, parking a number up, we would like to ask that the uh, landscape islands being required um, not be required for us so that we can keep those parking counts up. Um, Olive Garden typically has a landscape package that they include around the building, so we will be bringing in more landscaping than what is on site. All right, thank you. Is that the conclusion of your presentation, Ms. Schachter? Yes. Okay. Are there any other proponents here to speak to this case? Any other proponents here? Anyone else here in favor to speak to this case? Are there any opponents here to speak against this case? Is there anyone here to speak against the case? Hearing none, seeing none, commissioners, at this time I entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Motion to close the public hearing, Mr. Chair, on case number 2021B-003-03. Thank you, Commissioner Lovett. Is there a second? Second the motion. It's been moved by Commissioner Lovett, seconded by Commissioner Miller, that we close the public hearing for 2021 via Victor-003-03. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. The public hearing is now closed. Staff, would you please sound your recommendation? Case number 2021B-003-03, subject site 3390 Camp Creek Parkway. Applicant is Christy Schachter, who seeks a variance for relief from landscape island requirements. The property is zoned C2 with conditions and is within the regional center future land use designation. For those who can see the screen, the applicant has provided a site plan of what the property is proposed to uh, reflect. And staff recommends approval with the following conditions. The first being the applicant must develop site as indicated on site plan provided to staff. 
and the applicant must provide a landscape plan to be, to be reviewed and approved by the city arborist and city of East Point Planning Community Development Department. Thank you. Commissioners, we've heard from the applicant, we've heard staff's recommendation at this time, I entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Is that with the conditions, Commissioner Fan? With the two conditions stated. Okay, is there a second? Second. Okay. It's been moved by Commissioner Fan, second by Commissioner Miller, that this body recommends approval with the conditions as stated by staff. Are there any comments, questions, or concerns? Do you have a comment just for just for if I can get, you know, my, I'm getting older. I know, you know, those just can't really see, see, see. You go back to that site plan on that corner there. I want to see where that corner is. Uh, not that one, the other one that shows the cross corners around it, the other one. No, not that one. That one. What are those streets? What are the streets that we're looking at here other than Camp Creek? There? Can anybody answer that? Mr. Alston, can you share? I believe that to the south, uh, Commissioner Fan, that that is uh, Camp Creek Parkway or Washington Road, maybe? Staff, can you identify the streets so that um, Commissioner Fan? Yeah, one second. I'm going to pull up the, the map. Can you make it larger, please? Yeah, that's the problem. I can't see it. Shelby Lane to the north and Marketplace Boulevard to the west. Mr. Searcy, please, Mr. Searcy, please do not take your um, mic off of mute. The reason we have uh, um, speakers to address themselves and say their first and last name, again, is for the stenographer. If you're not staff, I'm asking you to please mute your phone or I will have to ask you to leave the meeting. Go ahead, Mr. Alston. Um, to the north of the site, if you can see the, the map, um, Commissioner Fan, I think that was you. I'm sorry, I can't really hear you that well. But it is Shelby Lane to the to the north, to the west of the site is Marketplace Boulevard. To the south is Camp Creek Parkway. And then to the right of that property, um, I can't tell who owns it, but it's a property right next to it. Well, I just want to see where it was located wise. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Commissioner Fan, if it helps, I believe, what restaurant was it before, Mr. Austin? Ruby Tuesdays. It was the Ruby Tuesdays, if you remember where that was. I do, I do, I do. Okay, all right. Are there any other comments, questions, or concerns? All right, commissioners, um, there's a motion on the floor made by Commissioner Fan, seconded by Commissioner Miller, that this body recommends approval with the conditions as stated by staff. All in favor, sound aye. 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 All opposed, sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. This body recommends approval. Our next agenda item is case number 2021 via Victor 002-03. Staff, would you please sound this agenda item? Case number 2021 V-002-03. Subject site is Zero Harris Street. The opportunity is Ms. Cole Hunter who seeks relief from lot frontage width requirement from 50 foot as required by code 247 feet. The lot is existing with the 47 foot lot frontage. The property once again is the R1A urban residential zoning designation with the future land use designation of redevelopment neighborhood. The applicant has provided a site plan of the property and staff recommends approval for the request oh. to reduce lot frontage width, excuse me, from 50 feet to 47 feet. All right, thank you. Um, commissioners, at this time, I entertain a motion to open the public hearing for case number 2021, via is in Victor, that's 002-03. It's a public hearing, com um, commissioners. Motion. motion to open the public hearing. Thank you, Commissioner McKnight, is there a second? It's been, uh, who said that? I did, I did, I did. Okay, I did. okay thank you. Um, there's been a motion by Commissioner McKnight to open the public hearing, second by Commissioner Fan. All in favor sound aye. 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 All opposed sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have the public hearing is now open. Uh, Ms. Hunter, are you present this evening? Yes, <clears throat> yes okay. I am, good evening. 
State your first and last name and your current address, and you may present your case. My name is Nicole Hunter. My current address is 1602 West Cleveland Avenue, East Point, Georgia, 30344. I am requesting for a um, variance to be relieved on the current lot existing at 47 um, uh, frontage, uh, I mean, excuse me, to be relieved from having to have a 50 foot frontage down to 47 fronts to build a single family home to be conforming with the remaining of the neighborhood. Okay. If that's the conclusion of your presentation, Ms. Hunter, I'll ask if there are any other proponents here to speak in favor of this case. Are there any other proponents here to speak in favor of this case? Hearing none and seeing none, are there any opponents here to speak against this case? Any opponents here to speak against the case? Hearing none and seeing none, commissioners, at this time I entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Motion, motion to close, close the public, public hearing. hearing. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Lovett, second by Commissioner Fan, that we close the public hearing for case number 2021 V as in Victor, that's 002 03. All in favor sound aye. Aye. All opposed sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. The public hearing is now closed. Staff, would you please sound your recommendation? Staff recommends approval for the variance request to reduce lot frontage width from 50 feet to 47 feet. Okay. Uh, commissioners, we've heard from the applicant, Ms. Hunter. We've also heard staff's recommendation. At this time, I entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Okay, so recommendation to approve. Is that your motion, Commissioner Fan? Motion to Commissioner Fan, your motion is to recommend approval. Is that correct? Can't, you can't hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, I was making a point by recommendation. This is a, uh, oh no, you're correct. It's not a recommendation, it's a variance. The motion is to approve. Is there a second? Okay. Yes, second. second. It's been moved by Commissioner Fan that this body approves this variance request, seconded by Commissioner McKnight. Are there any comments, questions, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor sound aye. 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 All opposed sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. This body approves variance 2021 via Zen Victor 002 03. Our next agenda item is 2021 via Zen Victor 004 03. Applicant is Tim Martin. Staff, would you please sound this agenda item? Mr. Chair, under items, uh, new items number three, case number 2021B 004 03. Applicant Tim Martin, location 1462. East Walker Avenue, Woodward Academy. Applicant seeks relief from section 10-7017B1 to allow for 80 foot flagpole sign and to follow and to follow, I'm not really, and uh, for, excuse me, and for 600 square foot sign variant from 15 square feet as required by city ordinance. This is a variance case. Okay, thank you. Um, commissioners, at this time, I'll, open up, uh, I'll entertain a motion to open the public hearing. Motion to open motion. the public hearing. Is there a second? Second. Second. It's been moved by Commissioner McKnight, second by Commissioner Miller, that this body opens a public hearing for case number 2021 via Victor 004-03. All in favor sound aye. 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 All opposed sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have the public hearing is now open. Is Mr. Martin present? Yes, sir. So if you say your first and last name and your current address, please, Mr. Martin. My name is Tim Martin. And my address is 319 Cheek Road, Monroe, Georgia. Okay, thank you. You may present your case. All right, on behalf of Woodward Academy, I would like to request a variance for the installation of an 80 feet tall flagpole with a 20 by 30 foot American flag. This flagpole will be behind the Boys and Girls Club in between the softball field and track and field area. Putting the flag in this location will allow for all sports fields to view. The flag height required to make up the 10 foot grade deficit and fly above the current scoreboards is approximately 80 feet. The flagpole will be below the existing stadium lighting, but above the existing scoreboards for all to view. 
Thank you. If you're completed your presentation, Mr. Martin, I'll ask if there are any other proponents here to speak in favor of this zoning matter. Any other proponents here to speak in favor of the zoning matter? Hearing none and seeing none, I'll ask if there are any opponents here to speak against the zoning matter. Any opponents here to speak against the zoning matter? Hearing none and seeing none, commissioners, at this time I entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Motion to close the public hearing. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Miller, seconded by Commissioner Knight, that this body closes the public hearing. For case number 2021, it is 004-03. All in favor, say on aye. 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 All opposed, say on nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. The public hearing is now closed. Staff, would you please sound your recommendation? Case number 2021-V is in Victor-004-03. Site location 1462 East Walker Avenue. The applicant is Mr. Tim Martin, who is seeking relief from section 10-7017B1 to allow for 80 foot flagpole sign and a 20 by 30 um, flag um, varying from city ordinance. The property is within the R1A urban residential zoning district and is within the traditional urban neighborhood future land use designation. Um, for those who can see the screen, the applicant has provided an overview of where that flagpole installation will be for the academy. And staff recommends denial for variance for relief from section 10-7017 to allow for 80 foot flagpole sign and 600 square foot uh, flag, um, varying from what is required by city ordinance. This property is, although it's a school, um, East City of East Point does place schools and churches within the R1A Urban Residential Zoning District, which is the reason for our denial. I did, however, add a note that it should be noted that the R1A zoning is primarily residential and the main land use is such and intended for such. Although schools and churches fall into that zoning designation, there should be an allowance made for those institutions. It is also staff's recommendation that further action be taken to rezone churches and schools from R1A to institutional to avoid um, similar conflicts such as these. Thank you. Commissioners, we've heard from the applicant, Mr. Martin. We've also heard staff's recommendation. At this time, I entertain a motion. Mr. Chair, I yes, move that uh, we approve recommendation or we accept the recommendation from staff on case number 2021 Victor 004 03. Okay. Commissioner Lovett is making a motion that we approve case number 2021 Vias and Victor 004 03. Is there a second? Mr. Chair, uh, I just want to my motion is to approve case number 2021 Follow the recommendation by staff, which is denial. Oh, your motion is to deny. I am so sorry. Okay. Um, Commissioner Lovett's recommend Commissioner Lovett's motion is to deny. Is there a second? Can I offer um I'm no, you cannot. We're we're trying to get a motion, Mr. Um, Austin. And so um i there's a motion on the floor, and we have to dispose of that motion. There's a motion on the floor to deny. Is there a second? Hearing none, the motion dies for a lack of a second. Commissioners, at this time, I entertain another motion. Yeah, I'm, I'll make a motion to approve. Is there, there's a motion on the floor to approve made by Commissioner Fan. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Fan, seconded by Mich Commissioner Miller, that this body approves case number 2021 via Invictor 004-03. Any comments, questions, or concerns? Uh, Mr. Chair, I have a question. Sure, Commissioner McKnight, go ahead. Or comment. Um, with approval, or can we actually add a statement um, with the recommendation for, you know, what's noted here um, for schools and churches to be rezoned? Do we need to do another text amendment and another in order to make this happen? I, no, so um, good question. Okay, so, good. Um, so basically what Mr. Alston was trying to get at is the reason that staff has um, made a recommendation to deny is because that is the law. And so the right. staff doesn't want to go against the law. However, what they're also saying is that 
um, because um, the R1A zoning regulation allows for schools and churches um, that this would be something that is customary for such a school or a church. And uh, we did have a discussion in our work session about taking um, this matter up, this case um, brought it to our attention that we should probably go back and reevaluate um, schools and churches within R1A zoning districts. And so um, we would not have to do a text amendment um, for this particular case now. Um, remember that staff's recommendation to us is simply a recommendation. And this body has the ability to vote how it sees best for the city, given that we are a quasi-judicial um, entity. And so the motion that Commissioner Fan, I think made, you know, my mind is going bad. Um, you on point, you on point. Commissioner Fan and Commissioner Miller has seconded is um, in order. And so their motion is to approve the variance. And so that would be sufficient. And that, that is why the applicant has come is to um, appeal to us to vary from the code. Um, I hope that answers your question. Is that um, sufficient, Commissioner McKnight? Well, I just want to make sure it would only apply to this particular case and it's not going to um, create anything in the future. That's all. I just want to make sure that it's, it's clear on that. But it, it will yeah. apply to this case and it is address specific um, as stated in the application. So it is only for um, the address here of 1462 East Walker Avenue. Perfect. Okay. I just want to make sure it's clear. Mr. Chair, I do have a question along that same line. If this is only for this particular case, what is it to keep anyone else that comes before the body to use this as a case in their favor? Mr. Chair, can I can I address that? Hopefully yes, I can clear up some confusion. Well, good evening, uh, Commission. Sorry for my late arrival. Um, just was doing some traveling, but let me just see if I can clear this up. So um, Commissioner Lovett, you're right, they can use this as precedent, but hopefully it won't be necessary because what the staff is recommending is that we look back at the ordinance like um, was just mentioned by the previous commissioner to change the law so that churches and institutions who traditionally want to have flags will not have to come before the board to get approval because they will be allowed by right. So it won't be precedent in a negative sense because we wanna change, uh, staff is recommending that the law be changed um, in its entirety anyway, uh, because it should be where um, these type of institutions, schools obviously, and churches should be allowed to have flags and so to rezone them to institutional will allow them to uh, get the flag um, by right. Uh, I do have a follow-up question if, if that's allowed. Absolutely, Commissioner Lover, go ahead. So the, the, the question is really not the flag, it is actually the height of the flag, is that right? It's actually both. Um, so the R1A, which is where this location is zoned, does not allow flags and then the height of the flag, if it were allowed, the height of the flag does require a variance to go higher. So it's both. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Okay, Commissioner Bell, you have a question? Yes, um, my question is since we are talking about um, changing the code, in order to allow this, um, are, are we aware of any type of timetable time of when it would be done? So we're not talking about changing the code for this particular case. What we're talking about is changing the code for future cases so that churches and schools will not have to come before the body for variances. So the motion on the floor is to approve the variance. And so that is all the applicant will need to do um, to erect their flagpole. Does that make sense to answer your question? Yes, it does. Okay. Um, Commissioner Fan, you have a question? I have a statement. Okay. I've been on the uh, planning and zoning board. When we did variances and we approved variances, it's on a case by case basis. 
we when we approve variance, it's on a case by case basis. It doesn't automatically mean that somebody who comes up here and asks for a variance because somebody else got a variance, they can use that to, to get a get a variance from this body. That's left up to the body to determine who they who they want to grant a variance or relief based on what an individual is presented at that time. So uh, that's where I am, and I am I'm asking that we call for the question, Mr. Chair, so we can we can vote. Thank you. Okay. The question has been called and um, that will end discussion, comments, questions, and concerns. And so that must be um, approved by at least two thirds of a vote. So all in favor of calling the question, sound aye. 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 All opposed, sound nay. Hearing none, the motion carries. And so at the moment we've got a motion on the floor to approve um, this variance. Case number 2022-004-03. The motion is made by Commissioner Fan, seconded by Commissioner Miller. All in favor sound aye. 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 All opposed sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes mm -hmm. have it. This variance <laughs> is approved. Our next agenda item, our announcement. Staff, do you have any announcements for the good of the body? Um, just one announcement that we have Miss Stacy Alexander with us. Um, taking our minutes for the meetings and we should have all of the backlog meeting minutes uh, for you over the next couple of days. Okay. And happy will, Thursday. <laughs> thank you. There will be several of them. And so um, there'll be a lot for us to review. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, commissioners, I uh, see that Commissioner Fan has his hand up. I, I wanna call for uh, adjournment, Mr. Chair. Okay, I was on announcements, Commissioner Fan. I wasn't ready for adjournment. Well, okay, Mr. <laughs> I, I will go ahead and make my announcement. Is welcome, Mrs. Alexander Board, to the uh, Penhandling and Zoning Commission. I will do that, Mr. Chair. But no, I'm ready to adjourn. <laughs> okay, thank you. If there are no other announcements at this time, I will entertain a motion. I believe that um, Commissioner Fan has a motion um, to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Second. Moved by Commissioner Fan, second by Commissioner Middle, seconded by Commissioner Miller that we adjourn our April 15, 2021 meeting. All in favor sound aye. 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 All opposed sound nay. Here none of the ayes have it. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.